Hello YouTube and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a server for Terria. If that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But the game that looks like Minecraft. So first you want to go to command prompt. And then you're going to want to type IP config. And this is for Windows users. I mean if you can figure out how to do this on Mac go ahead and follow along. But if you can't you might have to look elsewhere. So, uh, you need to find your IPVX address. Now, the reason I say X is because it can be different numbers, like IPV5, IPV6. You want to find whatever one it is, as long as it says IPV. Mine is 192.168.1.7. So, I'll make note of that with Notepad. Alright, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is look for your default gateway. Mine is 192.168.1.1, and you're going to use that uh, string of numbers here to access your router's control panel. Now, it might prompt you for a password and username. Generally, this is, uh, actually it varies depending on what your router is, who makes it, etc. So get a list of these um, different default passwords and everything you can check out that video there so I already know what mine is it's actually custom and then you're gonna want to find port forwarding on the control panel here now it might be tricky to find it you just have to look around it might say something else like port triggering or something like that but most likely it's going to be there for our Netgear this is pretty much a standard setup for their control panels so it's down here right here and then you're going to want to add a custom service alright and then give the service a name it doesn't really matter what it is just something you can identify it by I'm just going to name mine Terra alright and make sure that TCP slash UDP um, are both selected and then you're going to give it a port number to run on um, this is actually important and I actually forgot what number uh, Teria or whatever it's called runs on by default it's like 3373 three something so yeah you're going to want to put those numbers in I'll have a little annotation telling you what the port number is so don't worry and then you're going to want to put your IPv4 address here which is the thing we made note of which is 192.168.1.7 for me so then I'm going to hit apply and it'll save this out and now you're, you're going to want to close that um, and then you're going to want to start up uh, the game. So hit play it, obviously. Alright. I might need to make a change to the port forwarding because I forgot what the port uh, number was. So hit start server, well, let me go back. Click multiplayer, start server, select your character. Give the server a password. I'm gonna say buttface for mine. I'm gonna hit accept. All right, and then once the server has started up, hold on, this computer's taking a while. All right, there we go you're gonna be presented with the port number 31337 so I'm gonna jump out of uh, Teria however you wanna say it I'm gonna put those numbers into where I port forwarded 31337 or something like that let's see if that's right yep alright and then you're going to want to do that for the bottom one too as well. So just paste it and hit apply. And what we just did here 
is called port forwarding. What that does is it opens up a port via to our IP address so people from out the outside world outside of your local area connection can actually connect to your computer and play with you on your server. But before they do that, they need to know your IP address. So go to cmyip.com and this is your IP address right here. All right. So make note of that. You're going to give this IP address to people who want to connect to your server. All right. And then it might be different if you're playing on your local area connection. So now you're going to want to start another instance of Teria. So I'm just going to hit play again. And it's going to execute another instance of it. And this is going to serve as our client. And what we ran before was serving as our server. So we're going to click join this time. We're going to select our character. And we're going to give the IP address that it's running on. Alright, I'm going to have to, I don't know my IP address, I haven't memorized it, and it won't let me copy and paste, so I'm going to have to go back and see what it is. Alright, so it's 24148157124. So let me go back into Teria, the client, not the server. Oops, I went into the client, or the server. I have to click this one. Alright. So now I'm going to give the IP address and then perhaps the port number as well. We'll see. And hit accept. Alright, it found the server. The server requires a password. If I remember my password correctly, it's buttface. So I'm going to hit accept. And I am now playing on my server. So there you have it. This is how you create a Teria server. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And if you really want to be nice, make sure to favorite it. I'll see you next time.